Hi, uh, this is Mani from uh, bsc2nse.com. So in this video, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, what exactly uh, futures trading is, uh, because I know there are a lot of beginners who are still confused about what uh, a futures trading is. So uh, I I assume that uh, you would know that what uh, uh, buying a stock. Uh, normally or buying a stock for delivery means uh, normally we just buy a, uh, shares of any company for like 5 to 10 days or, or maybe 6 months or a year and then sell it so that's buying normally so uh, let's see what is the difference between buying a stock normally and buying a stock in futures okay so um, almost uh, all the stocks uh, I mean every stock can be bought for uh, delivery or you want to buy and hold it and then sell it whenever you want uh, but in futures uh, there's only select few stocks that can be traded in futures uh, there's only like 200 stocks and most of them are uh, large caps or mid caps and this is decided by uh, uh, the exchange and uh, uh, and as the video goes on uh, you'll understand more of uh, why these differences are there and uh, we'll come back uh, to this uh, differences slide again so um, again for delivery you can buy any number of shares uh, let's say for example let's consider HCL technologies in this video uh, for delivery or if you're buying uh, uh, shares in delivery or normally uh, you can buy even 10 shares of HCL you can buy even 2 shares of HCL uh, but in case of futures uh, you need to buy minimum one lot and again by the word lot you can understand that uh, a lot means a bunch of stocks and in case of HCL one lot consists of 500 shares of HCL so you need to buy minimum one lot meaning that you are actually buying 500 shares of HCL or you're actually trading on uh, 500 shares of HCL uh, so that is uh, about futures you'll need to buy minimum one lot which is actually uh, a lot of shares and uh, normally a lot uh, value will be almost between 2 lakhs to 5 lakhs and uh, let's get to the next point uh, in case of uh, delivery uh, you actually cannot sell shares without having it uh, meaning um, you'll need to buy HCL technologies first buy 10 shares of HCL technologies and then uh, maybe after two months or six months or even a year or two years you can sell the same 10 shares uh, so you, you cannot you need to buy shares hold them and you can only sell uh, shares which you're holding so that's what it is in uh, the case of delivery but in case of futures you can either buy or sell to start with so uh, there's no uh, mandate like you need to have HCL before selling it in futures so this is actually called as uh, short trading or uh, here traders actually make money when the stock falls lower so let's say you sell first and then the share goes down and then you buy it back so that's how uh, people gain by going short on a particular company so that is possible in futures wherein you need not buy first you can just sell uh, without having shares and uh, the next point uh, you can hold the shares for as long as you wish after you after you buy it of course so in case of delivery uh, I can buy the share today I can sell it uh, 20 years later I can sell it uh, five days later anything more than two days uh, you can sell it after two days it will get credited to your DMAT account after that you can sell it but in case of uh, futures you need to exit on expiry so normally you will have uh, futures uh, for the next three months and each month has uh, an individual contract and 
on each month the last Thursday uh, will be the expiry so if you're buying uh, this month's contract by end of this month you will have to uh, sell it then you can jump to the next month and you can keep jumping over but you'll need to uh, buy and sell uh, uh, the maximum holding period in case of futures since only three months is available is 90 days so uh, irrespective of uh, whatever happens uh, the longest holding period in futures is only 90 days so uh, unlike in uh, delivery uh, you cannot hold forever here and uh, the next point um, in case of buying a stock normally you actually need to pay uh, fully meaning let's say you're buying 10 shares of HCL and let's assume HCL is 700 rupees today so um, you will need to pay 10 into 700, 7000 rupees. You will need to pay fully. Uh, but in case of futures, um, you will need to pay only uh, a margin amount, uh, meaning you need not pay fully. So uh, we'll uh, get to that later. Uh, in case of HCL, 500 shares at uh, 700 rupees is almost 3.5 lakhs. Uh, but you would uh, need a margin amount of only uh, 60,000 to buy the 500 shares. So that is where you get uh, higher leverage in futures and that is where you can actually make more profits also. So it's also more risky uh, being that way. Uh, let's get to the next point. Uh, in case of delivery, the profit or loss is actually realized only when you sell it meaning uh, let's say you're buying 10 shares of HCL today at 700 and uh, two years later the share goes to 1000 rupees so uh, the uh, 300 rupees gain per share in HCL you only realize it when you sell it meaning when you only when you sell it the cash gets uh, credited to your account either it's a profit or a loss you only realize it when you sell it but in case of futures uh, the concept is a little different wherein every day uh, if it's a profit or a loss if it's a profit it gets credited in your account as cash and if it's a loss uh, it gets debited from your account so and this is called as MTM market to market uh, in futures so um, in futures uh, be it profit or loss uh, every day the rise and fall uh, or the profit or loss is uh, credited and debited from your account so in case you are unable to in, in case your account runs into the negative uh, then you will be forced to exit your position in future so uh, it's always a must that you have additional cash in your account so that in case of uh, any uh, losses uh, as the day goes on uh, you always need to be your account always needs to be in the positive so that you can hold a position in the future so uh, let's now uh, get to the um, uh, a realistic data let's take the example of HCL technologies the symbol is HCL tech and uh, the expiry date for the month of Jan in 2013 is 31st Jan and uh, the reason being uh, you can see in the calendar here uh, this is Jan 2013 and 31st is the last Thursday of the month it also happens to be the last day of the month uh, let's get to March or uh, let's get to March in case of March contract 28th the last Thursday will be the uh, expiry for futures for all companies not just HCL for all companies so this is what you see as expiry here and the lot size for HCL is 500 and uh, let's assume that today HCL is trading at 638 this is just an assumption it's actually now trading at 700 and uh, so uh, 500 shares at 638 rupees you multiply this both 500 into 638 it's close to 3.2 lakhs so this is the future value long meaning uh, the value of one lot of uh, HCL technologies in futures and the margin required to buy one lot is 15% meaning you need to have only 15% of 
3.2 lakhs to buy uh, HCL uh, one lot of HCL technologies uh, at 638 rupees uh, so the 15 percent on 3.2 lakhs is approximately 50,000 so this is the initial margin required uh, whether you want to buy or sell uh, HCL technologies in futures market so um, again this data is available for uh, all companies or all stocks that are traded in futures market you should be able to get this data um, uh, from your uh, broker or uh, DMAT service provider and they'll have something like a futures margin list and you can get this data for all stocks so and as the uh, price of a stock varies uh, this will also change the margin required and the uh, uh, lot value will also change because uh, when you multiply uh, the number of shares into the share price this thing changes uh, now uh, let's get to uh, let's assume that uh, today 19 Jan I am buying HCL at uh, 638 rupees one lot meaning I am buying 500 shares of HCL at 638 rupees and let's assume that I am going to be holding it uh, for the next uh, four days uh, so let's assume uh, HCL closes the day at 638 and you actually bought it at 638 also on 19 Jan and let's assume that on 20th Jan it is closing at 648 rupees uh, 10 rupees higher a share uh, on 20th Jan so that means that you you are essentially making a profit of uh, uh, 500 shares into 10 rupees is 5000 rupees so that will be the MTM that will get credited into your account at the end of the day on 20th Jan so meaning if you had uh, only the initial margin of 50k uh, at the end of 20th Jan your account will have 55k out of which 50k would be blocked for margin for holding the position and extra 5k cash would get credited onto your account and on let's say the next day um, the markets uh, crash and HCL also falls by 20 rupees that means that uh, on a daily basis HCL has gone down by 20 rupees per share so your lot which is having 500 shares of HCL uh, so essentially you are losing 10,000 rupees on that day so 10,000 rupees would get debited from your account uh, so uh, unless you have additional cash I mean you should have additional cash so that you can make sure that uh, this debit does not uh, make your account into uh, run into negative balance and let's assume the next day markets recover back nicely and uh, HCL rises by 30 rupees which means 30 rupees per share uh, meaning 500 shares you're holding so for one lot so uh, 15,000 will get credited uh, end of the day and uh, uh, normally uh, you can even sell you can even buy uh, the HCL futures contract in morning 10 a.m. and sell it at a higher price uh, two hours or three hours later uh, thereby doing intraday trading uh, using uh, futures um, but let's assume you uh, uh, HCL is a good company and uh, I expect HCL to get to around 900 by end of this year so if you keep holding the contract and during expiry you exit the particular month contract and you switch to the next month and you keep switching over for the next 12 months you essentially you'll be gaining 300 rupees uh, a share assuming um, uh, HCL gets to 938 by end of this year uh, if you keep holding uh, futures one lot of uh, HCL futures for the whole year by switching over uh, every month expiry uh, you'll gain 500 into uh, 300 rupees a share that will essentially be uh, profits of almost 1.5 lakhs so the initial margin required is 50,000 you should have some additional cash and uh, this is actually from 600 to 900 it's only 50% rise in uh, absolute returns 
if you buy it for delivery you will not you will gain only 50 percent but in futures market uh, your profits uh, are becoming almost 150 percent so uh, that's actually uh, uh, actually 300 percent so that's how much you gain by leveraging on futures the same holds true also on the negative side so the risk is equally there so just make sure and uh, you can actually get back to this uh, you can look back at the differences and now uh, I think uh, you can understand better so just look at these uh, just pause the video here and look at these differences and I'm sure you'll understand what futures trading is um, so any queries any questions uh, just post on this video and uh, uh, any uh, queries on futures trading uh, just uh, post on this video and I'll get back to you thank you